fastest way back is actually our fastest way to get to the end of the game now I think about it. Yeah. So I just realized, we can get the thing we need to show us over ruins. Come back this way. Yeah, we can kind of come back this way. and Grab then the two power-ups and get and jetting. We can take the other elevator back to Talon Overworld, which will basically lead us right back to the ship. We save there, we go into the um, area. The well, we still just have to get the two missile expansions after that. Because they're kind of on a different route. And with this in hand... Well... Power suit... Or... Phase on suit in hand. Oh... We can finally move on one. We're so close now. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Mm. Yeah. So would this be like Metroid 1.5? Or 1.25? <laughs> Yeah, it's like Metroid 1.25. Hunters is like 1.375. Prime 2 is 1.5. Prime 3 is 1.75. <laughs> Prime 4 is 1.9. God damn it! Why did they do the timeline like this? Jesus, that just sounds so confusing. <laughs> I like it. That's 1.2. No. Actually, we do. We do have Metroid 3.5. Ugh. They talk about Prime Hunters. No, that's 1.375. They talk about Pinball. <laughs> that might be like 1.01. 1. Yeah, that might be like 1.12. 1. So where do I go? Keep yeah. going up. Keep going up. We're going back to Shows of Ruins. Okay. We already have the gate open. The gate's open. Yeah, I keep forgetting that this gate's open. Yeah. It really points to the wall. Yep. Just go through the door right there. But first, some more death. Ooh, how about? Well, that makes things easier. Even though we're, we don't need any more power bombs for a good while in this game. Very well in the chosen I'll say that. I'll say this though. For the end boss, you will be happy to have power bombs. I can tell you that much. Yeah, I can probably. Not gonna be on now, I know there was a glitch with Ridley in the original Prime game that apparently if you boost balled into him, it would end the first phase of the fight yeah. immediately. Yeah, I remember that. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> so here's the Chozo Ruins. I always fought him legitimately. I guess they fixed that in later versions. Yeah, so here's the Chozo Ruins. Yeah. But I don't know too many of the glitches of Prime 1. I know a lot of the glitches in Prime 2, though, for some reason. Maybe because you ran into them more? Yeah. I kind of discovered a few by accident, like... Like the uh, famous 101% glitch you can do in Prime 2. I basically did that just trying it on instinct. What was the 100% one glitch again? You basically get the missile launcher twice. You basically get around a wall to ignore a cutscene to get a missile launcher, to get the missile launcher the first time. Go through the cutscene, it regenerates. And that's like very beginning of the game, too, so. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Hey, so what? you get ten missiles at the start? Yeah. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. However, the last missile expansion you get in the game won't count towards your total. You're Where still stuck you? at 251. Don't deal, with, don't deal with these guys. So you don't have to battle these guys, so unless you really want to. But I just want them gone. Okay. And besides, there's a missile room. Yeah. I say, all you have to do is just hit the, uh... You just have to hit the red thing covering the bomb slot and bomb that, and then we just go into the next room and get what we need. I just like murder. Yeah. I, I kind of like just hitting the bomb slot while they're still here. <laughs> and then you'll see the door come up, you'll see the door open, and the shows are going to like, ah, Get him off the wall! Get her down from there! <laughs> they just keep shooting you while the cutscene's going. I just, find I just don't like working in darkness. That's my excuse. That's true. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Then again, I've grown this game so many times I just have my own method for trying to be fast. And I've been able to I've been able to beat this game in hyper mode in like four hours. 100 percent included, of course. But that's some like good runs. Well then again, to me this is like the shortest Metroid Prime game. Yeah. Like this one I can beat in four, four and a half hours, 100 percent Prime 3 I can do in like six or seven. Prime 2 is usually like eight. Yeah, probably two seconds of the wall. Is that what's the most convoluted to get around? 
Prime 3 is very linear, but that makes it a little easier. That's not to say it's easy to find everything in Prime 3. No. I've never been able to find anything in Prime 3. Or everything. Yeah. I almost found everything in other ones. Well, although, I missed one because I didn't know when I was when I was able to backtrack. Yeah, you can't really... lock you out so fucking much in that game. You can't really backtrack, you'll beat the quote-unquote last boss. Yeah. So, just gonna refill all the missiles? I still have my fun with other M, despite how bad the story was. The gameplay's okay, though. The boss fights I thought were good. Well, the one thing that people, that nobody will say is bad, though. The Ridley fight. Not the cutscene before it, everybody says that's bad. The Ridley fight itself is good. Oh, yeah. That's the one boss fight everybody loves. It was so well done. The part of Ridley will grab you and grind you on the wall and shit. Like, damn. And the fucking Super Ridley shit. Like, wow. They did that one right. So that was the one where dodging could actually still fuck you over. <laughs> And with this, our final Shozo Artifact! There it is. Now that we have this, we go back to the main entrance of the Talon Overworld, grab the last two missile expansions, save yep. the ship, and then we've hit the end game. Yep. Hallelujah! Yep, now we have them all. Why does it say 97%? Oh, I think. Now I think I see why I think it's 98 to 100% for some reason. I don't think they count the phase on suit in that percentage for some reason. I think it'll still be good. Believe me. I remembered it's been weird for me too. I'm pretty sure once we get those two, it'll say you got 100%. If not, then we're really going to have to dig in the memory banks to figure out where the hell the last ones are, which would suck. I'm scared. But we have all the power bombs, I know that. It's clear we have all the energy tanks. All we left are the missiles, and I know the max is 250. I've beaten this game enough times to know that. Yeah. So, Alright, go up. Yep, go up through there. We want to take the, uh... Well, no, not in here again. We want to go up to the, uh... Go back to where you came from. Because, remember, there's two elevators. Yeah, top I know. World. We I'm sorry take... I remember where the second one is. Yeah, it, it's in that room. It's just at a different end of it. It's in the... It, yeah, it's in the tunnel past the save room. It's in the one of the saber, which I believe is to the right from here. Yeah, so there's a... Yeah, so there's a save station, and then there's a tunnel right behind it. That's where we want to go. God damn it, swallow me, you bastards! Not you! Wrong one! But thank you for considering yourself. God damn it! Well, you all want to die so bad. Ooh, power bomb. We're gonna max all power bombs before we even get back to the ship. <laughs> the only thing I need to go back for is energy. Yeah. And energy. Yeah. I was gonna say like energy and anything else. No, just energy. Perfect. All right. Oh, it's me. Energy. Yeah. We can always just get it right here. Which you still get the energy back even if you don't save. Yeah, I know. It's nice. But I'm gonna save anyway because fucking get break. Or not break, but yeah, just just to make bombed. sure I know we're good. I want to make sure I know I got what I got. We got all the artifacts. Let's get the hell out of here. Mm mm. Ah. Uh, just confirm. Talent of World East. And with that, we go. head, back to the, head back to the main overworld. Yes. So let's go find those last two, which I do know where they are. They're on the way to the elevator of Magmore Caverns. It's another one of those areas where we needed the grapple beam to get higher. We actually need the x-ray visor to easily notice one, and the plasma beam to get into the room where another was. We have to deal with Chosa Ghost? No. Good. We're in Talon Overworld. With the exception of the one area in Talon Overworld, there's no Shozo Ghosts. No wonder. Yep, that works on them now. 
So missiles and plasma beam will kill those bastards. I don't care how many damage. I mean, yeah, at this point. <laughs> says chump. It's chump damage compared to what we've been dealing with. Venom weed! Ow, oh no, you're killing me! Oh no, you're really killing me! <laughs> it's sad, wow. That'd be something like if you'd actually like, you see like, um, Samus suffocating Dark Samus in freaking Venom weed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can survive phase on, you can survive the worst enemy of the wall, Venom weed. <laughs> Put her in a tight corner where Venom Weed is there as she tries to run. She's like, OH GOD NO! The Dark Times actually burns. Jesus. Oh god. That would be great. So where do I hell do I go? What's left? Just go across that river, using the grapple points, and taking that path will get us back to the ship. Where are the last two? The last two are, I was gonna say, they're, they're in the big area before the elevator to uh, Magmore Caverns from here. Yeah! Fuck you. Finally, we've got, it just rips them. Like so. Jesus. They don't even melt. They just, they just tear all art from fire. Yeah. Yeah. God. How cold blooded are those guys? Damn. I guess I'd call that cold blooded. <laughs> oh, it's so afraid. Ow! You dick! I just wanted to kill you. You didn't have to be such a jerk about it. Alright, now we just gotta find our way out of here. Which now we did that, I don't know which way is out. Probably this way. God damn it! Mushroom! Yeah, that's the way out, I think. Well, no. Yep. And we're back to our ship. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, let's save it's after we get missiles, just so it saves us yes. some time. So, yeah. go there. Go through there. We're going to be climbing up in the room a couple rooms over. We just got to remember the layout for the rest of this. Because I just massacre anything here. Yep. Uh, disgusting, but I love it. Take that! Sap sack. Uh, excuse me. Cool. Hmm, actually, now that I think about it, I just realized why they don't count the phase on suit towards your item collection. Because you technically don't collect it, it just is forced upon you. Yeah. So technically, you didn't really earn anything. You just beat a boss and just happened to be granted the power of phase on in you. You just coincidentally got it. Yeah. Which, at least it doesn't affect Samus, it just affects her power suit. Incoming scan data. Yeah. Alright, once you beat the Omega Pirate, you get this. And now it's the artifact temple. Return artifacts to gain the impact crater. Basically what it tells you to do is go to the impact crater. Yep. Basically it tells you to do that, and if you did start with Shows of Artifact Hunt, it's now you, you do it. Alright, let's climb up. You can shoot on the plasma beam, remember, if you're trying to shoot him. Although... Okay, you got him. Heh. <laughs> Ooh, power. <laughs> I really don't need these. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going up. I think there might be another blood flower on the way. Yep, there's the blood flower. And now it's dead. No! Samus, you swing uh, plasma beam. It's super effective. That was one awesome fire attack. Okay. 200, 200 base power. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the raindrops you can scan to basically tell you there are invisible platforms there. Water rubs seem to be stopping midair. That doesn't make sense. That basically lets you know, hey, there's invisible platforms here. And because the rest of them are too far away. Yeah. They're too high up. So you they only show you with one just to give you an initial hint. Alright, just jump over to that platform. Uh, and jump to the gap right next to it. If you got off X-ray bias, you'd see that's actually behind a bundle of leaves. Like so. Yep. It's pretty inconspicuous if you don't have the X-ray visor. And now we just go further up to that door. For the last one. The leap of Oh god. 
I think I did too early. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, crap! <laughs> God damn it! Like, moment of truth. Ah, too soon, too soon. Just we take a leap of faith. We take a great fall of, oh god, no, why? Why I think it's a good idea? Shit! I can fix my mistakes. Just give me another three or four tenths. I'll get it! We're not fighting the Omega Pirate. This only takes one more tenth. I can beat the Omega Pirate and barely survive. But oh, this goddamn ledge! But this platforming section, fuck that. <laughs> a single Metroid guarding a door. That scares me. <laughs> Although, I don't know who's more scared, me or the Metroid? It's the Metroid. Probably. He's like, why he am blows I... up on impact whenever. He's like, why am I guarding this thing? This is gonna kill me! And now with that. Oh! oh wait, what? I would say, I thought the jump, the set space jump might have been slightly early. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, it is a tough jump, that one. At least everything's dead. It's a long distance, yeah. It's just gonna be more than three. This is the Metroid Prime game that has the least forgiving jumps to make. Then again, the others give you advanced jump maneuver, so it makes sense. In the form of screw attack. Yes. Not quite as destructive as it is in the two. Well, it is destructive. Game. Just, just not... very well, inaccurate. Yeah. yeah. It's less destruct of a destroyer. I was gonna say it's not quite as destructive as it is in 2D Metroids. It's it's all powerful in 2D Metroids. And they, don't forget, the other M is actually useful. Yeah, another M. They, it's pretty easy using that because that one tried to. They basically tried to make a 3D game while trying to rely on a lot of Super Metroid kind of assets. Is there a strategies like that? Okay, no, there's not. There's not a platform. He's got to make a good jump. There you go. That was good. Nice. Now, with that in mind... And, just like that, that's the last missile expansion. See? 100%. 100 go from 98 to 100. Interesting. Let me just check to be confirmed. You hit the wrong button. 100. That is odd. I think it might be because of the phase on suit thing. It, like, doesn't, like, register it until you get the rest of the items. That's my guess, anyway. I guess they might have forgotten one of them, and it was the phase on suit. Because the trope, th the trope thing with the Metroid games is that they really do their item percentage completion by just having a hundred items for you to get. Pretty simple to follow. Yeah. That's why a lot of Metroid games tend to be about the same length. They give you a hundred pickups to collect, so it makes a lot of sense. Anyways, back to the entrance we go. Yep. Fuck you. Now let's go to the ship, save, heal, and prepare for the end. Finally, after a long journey, we're about to finish everything. Oh. And it's only not, uh, it's just about 9 o'clock. Or is it 8? It's, no, it's, it's not even 8. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It's close to that. I forgot. <laughs> My thing is almost is set one hour ahead because I forgot to set it back. Oh, you forgot to unset <laughs> it from... <laughs> yeah. So we have more time. Yes. Uh, so we can do something else. Oh, of course, yes. Yeah.